does chat GPT, specifically GPT-4, pass the Turing test? This is an interesting question uh, because I think that this would be part of an AGI would have to pass the Turing test, but passing the Turing test is not necessarily, it's not all the requirements for an AGI for sure. Um, and there's a little bit of a nuance to this test that I think um, it doesn't get talked about that much that I wanna dig into before we try to answer that question. So first of all, the, the kind of the main idea of the test is, does a computer pass as a human? <clears throat> but the test is actually harder than that because of specifically how it's set up to where the interpreter knows that one of two, uh, two respondents is an artificial intelligence. <clears throat> and so they're actually looking for signs of artificial intelligence um, to uh, of identify or, or, or something that might be definitely human versus um, likely com uh, artificial intelligence. This is a key distinction because it just makes the test not just a little bit harder, but a lot harder for the computer to pass. And so, you know, the simple question of does GPT-4 appear to be human sometimes? Yes, absolutely. Like it could definitely pass for some human type responses. That said, there's definitely um, some kind of, you know, I, you know, as I can eyeball it a lot of times and see something that is AI generated um, via text or, or photos. There's just certain qualities that AI currently has. Uh, now, somebody who doesn't hasn't thought about that or isn't hasn't already looked for that is also is going to have more trouble with the test, or that it's going to be easier for the computer to pass. So the audience, the the person see the, in here, it actually has a significant effect on whether or not you pass the test. So this is another consideration. So the the answer here does it does it pass the Turing test is. Uh, generally going to be along the spectrum. I guess there, there's a point at where it was zero. No, nothing ever, nothing passes the Turing test, not even a little bit. And then there's going to be a point where it's just like all the computers, all the AIs pass the Turing test. But we're somewhere in between because sometimes it appears to pass the Turing test and sometimes it doesn't. So that's actually a, a, a pretty big signal in and of itself. But I thought it would also be interesting to ask <coughs> GPT-4, do you think it passes the Turing? Do you think you pass the Turing test basically? And it gave a really, uh, uh, I think, in intelligent response. And basically, you know, who 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 is conducting the evaluations matters, as I as I just said. Um, and then it's sort of like sometimes it doesn't consistently. It it may still struggle to consistently pass the Turing test. So I think that is probably the best way to put it. And you can read some of the more uh, detailed things. It even goes quite a bit deeper. I think this is a, actually a really great answer. Um, I think that there are theories that, you know, GPT-5, if there is a GPT-5 anytime soon or whatever, that it could be, if it's a level up from GPT-4, it's likely to consistently pass the Turing test. But there will probably still be some times at which it will reveal itself just through the way it does things different than humans. Um, because even if it is just way smarter than humans at like almost everything, um, or even everything, there are still gonna be some things that it does differently than humans. And and now maybe they, they can tune it more and more towards human behavior. Um, and so that's kind of a little bit different. You might actually have an AGI without it fully passing all of the Turing tests, uh, all consistently passing the Turing test. That's an interesting kind of flip side of what I mentioned earlier. So anyways, I think we have a pretty good answer right here to does it pass the Turing test? So we have the context of the Turing test, which means that the, it's harder than it appears on the surface. And then you have the the nature of the test actually dramatically affects kind of it's much much harder, and even for sophisticated people, you know, the, versus, you have to consider sophisticated people versus unsophisticated people as well. Those, that affects the the difficulty of the test. So it right now it's along some sort of spectrum where it passes it a lot of the times and a lot of times it doesn't. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any thoughts or comments about Turing tests or GPT-4 or whatever, anything re relevant, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do try to read the as many and respond to as many comments as I can. And thank you very much. Hope you have a great day. Bye.